In this video tutorial, we are going to be learning a new feature of Python called the Turtle Module. Now what the Turtle Module is, is basically a library of code written by somebody else that allows us to draw shapes and put colors onto the screen. So we can basically create artworks using code. What we're going to be doing to get started today is drawing a simple circle onto the screen that has a stroke color, which is a border and a fill color. So we fill the inside of the circle with a color. All right, so to get started on this, we're gonna write the first line of code as from turtle import star. Okay, you're gonna need to write this at the start of every turtle project from now on. And what this means is from the turtle module, which is that library of code written by somebody else, we're gonna import everything from it. That's what that little star means, everything. Okay, so all the functions are all the code written by this other programmer. We're going to import them into Python so that we can use them when we're drawing our circle. Okay, the first function that we want access to is called the pen up function. So all I want you to write is pen up and open and close a bracket. Okay, when you're drawing in Turtle, you basically got to think of it as there's a piece of paper in front of you, which is on your screen. Okay, and you're using a pen to draw on that piece of paper. As we move our pen around, it's going to draw lines across that piece of paper unless we lift our pen up off the paper. And that's what we've done here. So we're starting our project by lifting our pen up off the piece of paper. Once we've got our pen up in the air, we want to go to specific coordinates to start our drawing. So to go to a specific coordinate, we use the go to function. So we write go to and open up a bracket and we put in the x coordinate, which is going to be zero and the y coordinate which is going to be minus 100 and then we'll close our brackets okay so remember when you're doing go to functions the x value comes first and then the y value which is the y coordinate comes second okay once we're in position the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the background color of our page so to do that we just write bg color as one word and it's spelt the american way there so there's no u in color and in quotation marks pick a color if you want to follow along with me, keep it simple, just write yellow. All right, from there, um, we're going to choose the color of our circle. So we just write color, spelt the American way. And in brackets, we write in two colors. The first one, I'm going to write as magenta. This is the stroke or the border of our circle. After I put that in quotation marks, I put a comma and open up a new set of quotation marks and write the fill color, which I'm going to use cyan for. Okay, so it's kind of like a pinky purple and a light blue. So those are the colors of my circle. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is just pop down to a new paragraph here and we're going to write pen down. So we're going to put our pen down on the paper now. We're ready to start drawing. Before we do start drawing, I'm going to put in this function called begin fill. Okay. Hopefully you've been noticing too, as I do these functions, I've always got a set of brackets that open and close at the end of them. Okay. I've got something inside the brackets in these options here. All right. So just be aware that there are open and closed brackets at the end of all these functions. All right. Begin fill basically says we're going to color this circle in with the colors we specified earlier. The next line is circle okay that's the shape that we want to draw and in brackets we set the radius size so i'm going to set it to 120 pixels for now okay you can always adjust that size if you want something bigger or smaller once you finish drawing your circle you need to end the fill so just write end underscore fill and open and close your brackets and that will pretty much do us i think let's test it and see what happens so we need to save it first Okay, make sure you go into your Python folder and you give it a good name like circle and run your code. And there you have it. You've got your first graphic drawn in Python using the turtle module. Now there's a couple of other little bits and pieces that we can add to this code to make it look a bit better. One of them is this little arrow shape down here. We want to get rid of that. That's actually the turtle there that draws your graphics for you. We can actually hide that. Okay, all you need to do is at the end of your program, simply write hide turtle, bracket, bracket, and that hides the turtle. 
So now when you run it, you can see it there for a moment, but then it disappears once the graphic is drawn. All right, another thing you can do um, is speed up how fast we draw this graphic. So right at the very top of our code above pen up, you can write speed and set it to zero, which makes it draw this circle at the fastest speed it can possibly draw it. So if you run it now, you can see the circle pretty much instantaneously appears on the screen. Um, one other thing we could do is probably change the size of our stroke. So that border is quite thin at the moment. If you'd like to make it a bit thicker, um, you might want to come down here beneath the colors and just change your pen size. I'm going to set it to five and run the code and you'll see that it gets a bit thicker. If you want, you could change it to double that. Let's go to 10, run the code again. You'll see you get an even thicker circle. Oh, sorry, border. All right, so there's a few different features that you can play around with in the turtle module there. Actually, one other thing you can do, you don't really need this one, but I like to whack it in at the end here. It's called exit on click. It's all one word, and we've got the bracket bracket at the end. And that basically means when we run our turtle module, we can click anywhere on the screen. And as soon as we click on the screen, it will exit our app. So there we go, just like that. All right, so that is your code to draw a circle. There's not much to it. It's pretty basic, and if you break it down line by line, it should should make pretty um, simple sense to you. All right, so I'll stop there, and I'll catch you in the next video where we're going to start to draw some more shapes.